Alright, <clears throat> so through Fandroid, uh, saw a link for the Matrix 1, which is now hot and also sold out. Um, I bit at buying it, even though the specs on here said 4 gigs of storage and 512 RAM, which didn't really bother me a whole lot. When it came in the mail yesterday, however, it is 16 gigs and 1 gig of RAM, which is pretty baller. Um, the unit itself has a matte style finish on the screen. It does indeed have your uh, ports here on the side, which I was also a little bummed when I opened the box. It has a proprietary miniature little plug, USB cable, and some knockoff old school iPod type headphones that I'm sure are awesome. However, I did try out the uh, mini USB, which does in fact charge the unit. One speaker. Uh, your update, power, focus, there's a menu and a back button. Um, it came preloaded with quite a few things. I put some uh, apps on here, but there we go, no glare. Um, if you go into your settings, you can actually see... It's got your 4.0 blurriness. Anyway, <laughs> so much for that. Storage. Downloads and available. Let's see if it'll focus. Probably not. No, it won't. Anyway, available is 13 and a half gigs still which is pretty sweet. It did actually come with the Play Store already installed. Um, Angry Birds Rio, Documents Reader, Skype, some HD video shooter thing to uh, watch your HD videos. Um, another cool thing that I really enjoy with the USB on here you put your USB device in, USB is mounted, um, if you go to the file manager it came with, you can actually access your USB device, which I really like, and since I know it's not going to focus, with the installed document reader it can actually tell you what a PDF is, it actually has the little symbol for uh, Word documents, folders, I mean you can open up folders, scroll through stuff, look at pictures, um, or not. Oh, there we go. Uh, back button. I don't have a micro SD in there yet, I haven't tried that. Um, the video on the website works, it's pretty good. The sound is a little tinny, not going to lie. Everything is very, very readable. The camera is a piece of garbage. I tried to take a picture last night. Not so hot.
good quality videoing here. Well, anyway. Oh, here we go. Very crisp, though. Pretty fluid. Anyway, for uh, $70 shipped to my house, I'm not going to complain. Pretty nice little tablet. Way to go, Fandroid.